me. And also to introduce uh, the yeah, director of the Environment and Development Division yeah, here at UNSCAP, yeah, Mr. Sangman, yeah, um, for the welcome remarks. Sangman, over to you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. On behalf of UNSCAP, I would like to congratulate all of you mayors and welcome you to the 2024 Asia Pacific Mayors Academy. Also, I would like to express our gratitude to academy partners, UN Habitat, UN University Institute for Advanced Study of Sustainability, UCLG, ASPAC, Association of Pacific Rim Universities, and IGES for coming together in this important initiative. Mayors, each of our city has a certainly your distinctive condition. You know better than anyone the importance of local action, the need to mobilize communities to achieve success, and how local priorities can contribute to broad objectives. We also recognize that we have many common challenges, including impacts of climate change, air pollution, and common demand for ever increasing services, infrastructure, and resources. Thus, we see solutions that can also be common and can be widely shared for making our response more efficient and effective. In this connection, uh, this academy was created to help mayors better understand the role of cities and leadership in developing local initiatives and contributing to broader global and national agendas, especially uh, sustainable goals Paris Agreement and the new urban agenda. The expectation of cities and local communities is ever increasing. So national and global objectives cannot simply not be realized without tangible contribution contribution from cities. In that regard, I'm also pleased to inform you that uh, ESCAP's annual commission session, which is kind of a general assembly of a United Nations. So next year, the 81st commission session will focus on sustainable urban development in Asia Pacific. This shows the, uh, the increasing recognition of national government and also the national government on the role of a sustainable urban development in the regional uh, cooperation context. In this regard, the faculty of this academy uh, from partners and our respective networks and regional and international experts will be ready to assist each of you to develop initiatives in your communities and promote sustainable urban solutions. You will hear over the course of this introductory session how the academy will be delivered and some of the content on which the structure is built and expectation for fellows in the class. We welcome your participation, your engagement, and your leadership throughout the course of the academy. Uh, we are here. We are here to help, and hope that you can take advantage of this opportunity and unique platform to interact with each other and share experiences and develop a sustainable solution for your communities. And now I would like to invite Dr. Serene Bas. Uh, Popri, who is a chief of a UN Habitat, the Bangkok Program Office on behalf of a UN Habitat. Thank you. Thank you, Director uh, Sangmin. Um, thanks for your kind words and also welcoming me. Um, distinguished mayors, uh, excellencies, friends, partners, and the members of the advisory board for the Mayor's Academy uh, for Sustainable Development in Asia Pacific. My very warm greetings to all from Bangkok, um, and I'm very delighted to join, to offer my congratulations to you on being selected as incoming fellows for the 2024 cohort of the Academy. Um, as you will hear later from the alumni mayors, from today, you will embark upon a shared pursuit that will hopefully enrich you while providing useful insights to assist you in solving 
and serving um, your cities and citizens. What we witness today is a world that is experiencing rapid urbanization and a region that will become predominantly urban in the next two decades. So just a decade ago, I mean, just to give you the perspective, um, a decade ago in 2014, the global production of electrical vehicles was merely 400,000. At the time representing less than 0.01% of the overall market share, but now over 45 million units in 2024. So you can see the pace of the change is prolific. And as a mayor, uh, the transport, the waste, and the housing, among other areas, are just some of the challenges that you will be confronted on a daily basis. And in addition, all the challenges that are associated with not so good urbanization, you see. So, this is precisely how and why the Academy has been designed as a means for you to share your common struggles and the challenges that you and your city and citizens are facing with your fellow mayors, exploring ideas together, informing and finding solutions and building strategies and action plans in tackling those challenges. Everyone in this call today uh, be it professors or experts and all of us, we are here to help you to go through this journey. Over the next six months, let me encourage you to embrace this opportunity to sound out your issues and ideas among all your cadre of mayors, who I also hope will become your good friends as you undertake one of the most rewarding positions as a mayor first citizen of your city. Through the models and the exercises of the academy, instilling a sense of solidarity for your work. And for many of you during your immediate terms as mayor, let me also highlight that you will encounter two key milestones. First, the start of the five-year sprint towards the targeted end of the date for Agenda 2030 for sustainable development next year in 2025, right? And secondly, the 10-year anniversary of the new urban agenda adopted in 2016. So those will be critical dates to evaluate your leadership and our ability to assist you. However, rather than simply waiting for those dates to be fall, I urge to you use your time in the academy to plan carefully where you want to be by 2026 and start setting up your city for success. Later this year in November 2024, we will also mark the 12th session of the World Urban Forum, WUF 12 as we call, hosted by Cairo, Egypt, where we are expecting close to 22,000 participants. So I hope to see all of you or some of you and for which planning should begin today. So finally, let me take a moment to acknowledge our colleagues, the professors, the experts from across the organizing partners, including ESCAP, UNU, IAS, UCLG, ASPAR, APRU, and IGES, along with you inhabited, and especially to my colleague, Kurt, we have gone to greater lengths to put together the modules you will be commencing with all these colleagues, and much of which I should add is done voluntarily. For that reason, as much time and effort which they have and all of us have, will collectively be investing in you, I urge and appeal you to do the same for yourselves, your cities, and your citizens. I really look forward to following your journey as mayors during the academy and far beyond. Uh, welcome once again and all the best for this first module today. Thank you. Over to you, Sangeet. Over to you. 
Thank you very much. Um, it's now our pleasure to introduce the uh, partners in the Academy. And we will start, oh, my video is supposed to be on. Let us uh, introduce the, the partners in the Academy and we'll start with uh, Dr. Bernadia Jandrajuri, the Secretary General of UCLG ASPEC. Bernadia, over to you. Very good morning. Sorry. Good. Can you move to another speaker? We need to fix this. Thanks. Okay, let's let's go to uh, Dr. Thomas Schneider, the chief executive of the Association of Pacific Rim Universities. Thomas. Yes, uh, I'm very happy to, to, to be here and to extend a very warm welcome to the new mayors of this uh, academy and all colleagues who uh, participate in this meeting. On behalf of the Association of Pacific Rim Universities, I'm really delighted to welcome the new cohort of distinguished mayors from Bangladesh, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan and the Philippines to the start of this 2024 Asia Pacific Mayors Academy. I'm particularly pleased to note that this year's cohort has nearly reached gender parity. Cities, as you know, greatly influence global economic growth, development, and prosperity. Cities are, at the same time, also drivers of innovation, of consumption, and investment. Due to their role as economic powerhouses and their increasingly dominant position in the global economy, cities play a crucial role in our collective efforts to advance the Agenda 2030 for sustainable development. This applies specifically also to Asia, which accounts for a third of world economic output and has the highest number of people living in urban areas. Therefore, you, honorable mayors and city leaders of the region, are called to help ensure that the continuing economic recovery and ongoing urbanization go hand in hand with sustainable and responsible development. While environmental issues, including the impacts of climate change, are some of the greatest challenges for cities today, sustainable urban development and urbanization are essential factors in limiting environmental degradation and spurring the development of mitigation strategies when dealing with climate change. Through improved urban planning, the integration of smart city strategies, and also a focus on urban nature-based interventions. At the community level, cities are drivers towards more equitable, inclusive, and resilient societies, providing efficient and equitable access to education, resources, and services. For these reasons, we have to make sure that cities and city leaders, as you, can acquire the latest knowledge to the, so they are in a position to combat climate change and address unsustainable patterns of urban development. This is why APIU, the Association of Pacific Rim Universities joined forces five years ago with our partners UNSCAP, UN Habitat, UCLG, ASPEC, IGES, and UNOIAS to support capacity building in the region by setting up the Asia Pacific Mayors Academy. This academy provides an essential platform for cities leaders such as yourselves to share best practices, to learn from each other, to become part of an important leadership network and to gain the latest knowledge on how to contribute to climate action, to localize sustainable development goals, and to ensure that your cities will become more resilient, equitable, and sustainable. Over the next few months, you will also be meeting and working closely with our APIU sustainable city experts from our member and partner universities from across the region. In conclusion, I thank you, honorable mayors, again for your commitment to join this academy and to become a member of this important network of sustainable city leaders. Uh, good luck and the best of success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Thomas. Uh, may I now introduce Professor Shinobu Yomi Yamaguchi, the director of the UN University Institute for Advanced Study of Sustainability. And thank you, Mr. Chair and honorable mayors, 
distinguished academic partners and colleagues. Good morning and good afternoon and good evening from the United States where I am located right now. I would like to warmly welcome you, all the mayors, to the first session of the 2024 Mayors Academy for the Sustainable Urban Development. Together with UNSF, UN Habitat, uh, UCLG Asia Pacific, APRU, and IGES. I am very pleased to note that this year's cohort with diverse background in joining the Academy's growing network is a powerful reminder of our shared commitment for the urban sustainability. To commemorate um, uh, today's opening, I have two important messages um, that I would like to share with you. The first, I agree with Mr. Schneider that the cities are the engines of innovation and the key to the delivering the SDGs and our climate goals. For the first time last year, COP28 hosted a local climate action summit, recognizing the cities and their leaders as crucial actors in keeping our world within the 1.5 degree threshold and build the resilience um, and resilience to the climate change. It marks a critical opportunity to forge new partnership between countries and cities for planning, financing, and implementing climate goals. Our Asian Pacific region continues to experience a rapid urbanization, and our cities are increasingly vulnerable to climate shocks. How effectively the cities are planned and managed has a long-term consequences for climate vulnerability, and it is absolutely critical for building a nature-positive, healthy urban ecosystem, and more resilient and inclusive society. Second, as, I, as my message, as I attended the SDG Summit last autumn and UN headquarters in New York, the UN Secretary General, uh, the Mr. Guterres, said at his opening remarks that we have only 15% of SDG targets successfully attained at the midpoint of our UN Agenda 2023. And he urges the solid international cooperation to reach what we agreed in 2015. And I believe the localization of the SDGs is the key to this commitment, and thus, cities development and management are the center of our future. Honorable mayors, we count on you to encourage the sustainable urban development and embed the SDGs concepts and climate resilience into your urban frameworks. Mayor's Academy is to support you in leading your cities to be innovative in delivering solutions for serving your communities. Through this Mayor's Academy, I hope your discussions with our alumni, fellow mayors, experts, and academic, academy uh, faculty members will create a pathway for your cities to be more sustainable, inclusive, and resilient. I encourage you to take the full advantage of this academy network to build the knowledge and enhance the collaboration. Trust me, I have worked with the academy since 2019, and I have seen the huge a useful network among the mayors that they can share the experience and they can learn from each other and really, really synergize to each other. So I wish your session to be very constructive to bring innovative strategies and insights. So please enjoy your session and good luck for the Academy of 2024. Thank you very much for your attention. And back to you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Professor. 
Next, we have the program director from the City Task Force of the Institute of Global Environmental Strategies, or IGES, Ms. Yatsuka Kateoka. Hello, um, oops, you should share, oh, see, sorry, I show my faces. Okay. Yes. Okay, oh. thank you very much. And then uh, my name is Yatsuka Kataoka from the uh, Institute for Global Environmental Strategy, ISAS. So on behalf of our institute, as a member of PPSU, I'm glad to welcome all honorable mayors uh, joining the 2024 class of Asia Pacific Mayors Academy. So it is very great pleasure and honor. I extend to you the warm welcome, on, um, welcome. And in the, your presence here today makes a significant moment of collaboration and unity as we get to address common challenges of sustainability and for the new ways, new pathways towards sustainable development. As mayors, you hold a vital responsibility of stewarding your commitment through times and uh, times of change and growth. Your dedication uh, to public services, innovation, and then all the well-being of your uh, constituencies, services, as inspiration as uh, us all. Um, today, um, we come together. Uh, to recognize owner your tireless efforts in building inclusive, resilient, and thriving cities, which would strengthen the, through the mutual learning exchange through the Mayor's Academy. Um, taking this opportunity, I would like to emphasize the uh, uh, echo the uh, uh, echo to emphasize the importance of the cities and city leaders in achieving global goals uh, such as climate, biodiversity, and then sustainable development goals. And also, I would like to emphasize the importance of synergies of climate SDGs. So climate issues are very key elements of achieving the sustainable society and growth. And also, the 2030 Agenda and its SDG is very closely linked with them um, uh, to uh, achieve the uh, goal of the climate goals. So, um, for example, main outcomes of COP28 of Climate Pact a global stock take emphasize linkage between addressing climate change uh, in broader context of sustainable development and highlights synergies in several key paragraphs. Also, the uh, UNDESA and also the uh, the UNCC, NFCC Secretariat uh, has promoting the uh, global uh, conference of climate uh, climate and SDGs. And recently, you know, uh, we saw the reports on this uh, one. So I think the um you know uh, the our global uh, challenges uh, uh interlinked each other and we cannot you know, solve our uh, challenges uh, by addressing single issues. So maybe through the um this academy, uh, synergy issues will em emphasize and also the ISS has promoting the Bronte local review, uh, which is the uh, monitor and review of the uh, SDGs, uh, which uh, could be a uh, key tools. Uh, to monitor the emphasis the synergies uh, in the uh, local agenda. So um, having said that, uh, I welcome again to the Mayor's Academies and then the, you know, I extend I hope uh, extend my hope to uh, your success of the Mayor's Academy on this cohort. So we are very glad to uh, working with you uh, through the uh, modules. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now we'll go back to uh, Dr. Bernadia Chandra Dewey, Secretary General of uh, United Cities and Local Governments, Asia Pacific chapter. I hope you can hear me now. We it's can good. very well. Oh, that's great. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, namaste. Uh, very good morning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mangga dan umangga. And sawadika. Selamat pagi. Assalamualaikum once again. And I really like uh, to uh, welcome uh, all the honorable mayors uh, for joining this uh, Asia Pacific uh, Mayors Academy. This is the fifth batch of the uh, Mayors uh, Academy. And I congratulated you because uh, you got selected to join this um, academy. And I'm also pleased to see uh, several members uh, of UCAG ASPAC, uh, Mayor Fias, uh, also. Mayor Johnny Ganda from Indonesia, and you are the only one, Mayor uh, North Minahasa, for joining this uh, uh, academy from Indonesia. So let me uh, briefly uh, introduce UCH ASPAC. I I'm sure some of you already heard about this uh, organization. 
we uh, connect uh, at the global level 240,000 uh, cities and local governments in more than 144 countries in Asia. And the Pacific is the largest one because uh, we have several members from China, also Indonesia. So this, uh, uh, the scope of our works, uh, this uh, related very much to um, decentralized cooperation, also advocacy, research, capacity building. So we are pleased uh, to join uh, our partners, uh, UNSCAP and UN Habitat, IJS, FERU, and also UNUIS for uh, basically establishing this uh, Asia Pacific Mass Academy. And these five batch have been wonderful, uh, especially uh, since uh, through this batch, uh, we managed to create a good networks of uh, mayors uh, and also leaders uh, at the local commons level. So um, we are focused also on the role of uh, local regional governments in achieving a global uh, development agenda. I don't need to mention those development uh, agenda because uh, previous speakers already uh, highlighted very well about those so many agendas uh, that we have at the global level. Uh, this includes sustainable development goals, Paris Agreement, disaster risk reduction, and as well as uh, uh, many others uh, global agenda. But importantly, how this global agenda actually uh, re relate to your local actions. This is why mayors who join uh, this mayors academy, uh, you have a strong commitment to uh, not only aware about these uh, global agendas as well as the uh, importance of sustainable development, but I think we can see that you have a very strong willingness to uh, use uh, or to apply uh, those uh, agenda and how this can be implemented at the local level. And your role is definitely important because uh, IDGs, as everyone is aware that more than 65% of SDGs targets must be done at the local level. So mayors, you are the important persons uh, in this uh, Asia Pacific Mayors Academy. And then of course, uh, our modules, uh, they are not perfect modules. And I think it's very important that we get uh, feedback from you, uh, how these modules uh, that will be introduced to you uh, can be very useful for you. And if you have any suggestion, advice, and how we can improve the modules, uh, that will be very appreciated. Because these modules, uh, we really try to customize uh, the modules to cater your needs. Like for example, in 2020, we introduced uh, this module on COVID-19 uh, response and recovery. And then we modified this uh, to, to include what we call it the poly crisis uh, that faced by cities and municipalities. So these modules are living uh, modules, uh, meaning that uh, further involvement uh, is always required. So without further ado, let me welcome you once again, mayors. And uh, I'd like to thank all the partners uh, for organizing this uh, wonderful Asia Pacific Mayors Academy. And certainly uh, we will have a productive session for this fifth batch. And we will uh, uh, get together uh, in person later, maybe at the uh, WUF World Open Forum uh, in November. So uh, congratulations, mayors, and uh, all the best for this uh, fifth batch uh, of the Asia Pacific uh, Mayors Academy. Thank you, back to you. Thank you very much, Bernadia, and, um, and to all of the partners in the Academy. You'll be seeing all of these faces again throughout the course um, and over the next six months. But now the most important part is getting to know uh, each of you. Um, so the, this new batch, as uh, Bernadia described you, uh, the fifth cohort of uh, fellows to come through the Asia Pacific Bears Academy. Um, what I would ask is that if all of you could now turn on your cameras so that we could at least for the first time see all of your faces together and we'll take one quick uh, group shot. Please everyone turn on your cameras. Abia, can you take the uh, screen presentation down please? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna call from three, two, one, and okay, please hold. Okay. Okay. All okay. done. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nui.
Uh, now, what we'd like to do is have kind of an informal dialogue with, um, you know, several of you. Uh, Sri and I have the honor of kind of introducing the mayors and having a, a kind of an informal uh, discussion with, with each of you. Uh, 